Sir, yeah. sir, I only have one percent to go for that, but I wanted to put you on camera because I, I, I don't, I don't see this guy that often, and you know, to be honest with you. I don't know if I want to see him that often. You don't want to see me that often. Yeah, I mean, we sh we're at the wrong place. We had yeah. He just bought me breakfast at the I Waffle said, House right here. I said IHOP, Cracker Barrel. No, where does this guy go? Waffle House. He's supposed to take me a Dunkin' Donuts. You know, that's what they do, you know? That hurts me. Just because I'm a cop, you know, Dunkin' Donuts. You know who else likes Dunkin' or You know who else likes, likes Donuts? Every, everybody. Good morning, guys. Seal on the roof today. That's where I seal the roof, guys. I'm gonna come down here. Oh my goodness. Now I'm gonna seal this up and put some screws through it, but I'm not gonna seal it up all the way because if something does find its way down, we want it to leak out. So you're not supposed to go crazy sealing low stuff. Look at this controller's hanging out. The brake controller. I, it's uh, emergency stop brake. Oh, getting tired. I'm on a Saturday, I'm working, guys. Who works on a Saturday, Saturday this hard? If you're watching from your living room, on a Saturday, get to work. Okay, someone put a screw here. I'm gonna back the screw down a little bit, get more level and seal it. I screwed everything up here, some screws, got it up and out of the way for them. But I'm gonna leave a hole once in a while here. Well, it's not gonna be hard to do, probably leave a hole right there. Once in a while, so if water does find its way out in the lowest spots, you don't wanna seal it up completely. Because if you do, oh, need another screw, you'll be sorry. If water gets trapped and there's no way out, you're in bigger trouble. You're better off to keep it open. But he wants it sealed up a little bit, so I'm going to seal it, but I'm going to keep spots open so water can drip through. The seal's bad on this one, a slide seal, so I'm going to have him tilt the camper to the right. He's only, he only has to get a year out of this, guys. He only has to get a year out of this, so instead of putting a whole new slide seal on, which is a big deal, we're just going to kick this, tilt the camper back a little bit so it slides off. That's all. The sun's coming out. It's been an hour and a half, two hours. It's been about two hours, so... A die core is drying, and everybody's, everybody's, everybody's gonna be like, oh, you should wait longer for the die core to dry. There was holes up in there, it's gonna rain for three days. We have to get this taken care of, whether it runs a little bit or not. It is what it is, that's how important. I put silicone all down here, up on the sides of the cap, so it's drying now, and the sun's baking it down. And plus it's windy, a little bit windy, so it's drying it too, so. I went up there, die core's already tacking up, so. Like, it's tacking up really well, so. I didn't put it on thick, I kinda spread it in my fingers, I didn't, I self-laid it myself a little bit, even though it's self-lay. I self-laid it myself leveling. I just uh, did it myself a little bit just because... Oh, phone's ringing. Another call. Take one of these cones right here, put it out in the middle of the road so no one slams in your truck. It looks respectful. Uh, I mean, it looks good. Profes it looks professional. It's lightweight. Throw it in there like that, and you're done. And some companies some companies do, as, do it as code. You have to. One in the front, one in the back, and a wheel chalk, but... I'm my own company, so I make the rules. But I think a good habit of doing something like that, it literally takes two seconds, watch. So I'm sitting here and I hear some buzzing alarm go off over there and I thought it was a smoke detector. It was our LP gas detector. I just happen to have one on me, so I'm gonna change that while I'm here. I get all their information and give it to Heather and she puts it in the books. And what do you know? It was a bad detector. Well, that's, what, that's what we're dealing with here. Bad stuff. It doesn't work. So we got Renergy solar panels. They're only 22 uh, on the width, which is really small. So that's really cool. I always check everything out, make sure nothing's broken. Everything looks good. Uh, these are really nice panels. These are high-end monocrystalline panels. Very expensive because not very expensive, but they're they're skinny. So Renergy uh, Renergy is not a sponsor. This is a customer that bought them. We have three of them, we're gonna put them on this van right here. I'm gonna put them on that van. And that company, the battery company, did return the batteries. It's a 100 watt, it puts off six, six amp. Okay, now that's a 100 watt panel. This is a 165 watt panel. If you think about it, this panel's still way smaller for the panel size per watt. So this is 165 watt, this big one, and these are 100 watts. So I like the fact that she got the smaller panels, the real skinny, because usually they're about two inches wider. 100 watts and about an inch wider so two inches makes a big difference guys put them on a van you know so that'll be cool there's the monocrystalline are really good these are the good ones so these are tougher than you think too by the way they're very tough panels so guys remember that power box we had over here um i didn't really have any use for it anymore and my friend john the copper he copper stopper he needed uh he needed a box for his new uh, property so i said hey i'll tell you what i'll trade you a 200 amp box for your saw because this is a smaller 16 inch bar saw but 
basically brand new Husqvarna. So I said, I'll trade you, because he already bought a still. And I'm like, I'll trade you to Husqvarna for the breaker box. And that's what we did this morning. And he bought me breakfast. Thanks a lot, John. I appreciate that. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, so this is a couple more CCs bigger than the one I have. And uh, it's basically brand new. Now, it's not running, because it's the carburetor's gummed up or something. He let it sit, but he only used it one time. So I'll get it on gummed. I'll figure it out. It just doesn't want to. It doesn't want to stay running, but the, the Husqvarna's they just get choked up and and fouled up. They get fouled up so easy. These 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 Husqvarna's. The still seems to be a little bit. I don't know if you guys. What do you guys like better? Put it in the comments. Still or Husqvarna? I don't know. I, I really think. I really think I like still still steel still, because it's uh. It's just a. I don't know. It just seems to start better every time. Oh, I'm tired, guys. I need a break, but I'm working hard because I got to go on vacation and. I don't know when I'm going, I don't tell you guys when I'm going on vacation, but I might work on vacation because I'm going to Myrtle Beach. Actually, we're not going to Myrtle Beach, we're going an hour from Myrtle Beach, going to Wilmington. But you want to know what? There's a lot of money sitting there in Myrtle Beach, so I might be in and out of those campgrounds. So, telling you ahead of time, guys, in a few weeks, I can't give you the time. You have to uh, text me uh, personally on Facebook, but I will be at the beach cleaning, sealing roofs, whatever it takes. I can't bring my truck, that's the only problem, but I can bring the Honda and stuff it full of tools. Hi peeps, the girls and I just got home. And yes, it did. Oh, I'm dumping down. I can't wait to put the solar install in, that'd be cool. Uh, you guys can see how that goes in. Yeah, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm getting comments about the lithium batteries versus lead acid. I understand, but I'm not, uh, the person that has the van, she doesn't want to put $10,000 in the solar setup, and I don't blame her. Um, you don't want to put in double what the solar costs when the van, van's worth. It's, so I forgot what I was saying before because the darn GoPro died and we got a thunderstorm and we're tired and falling asleep. Heather's right here. She'll end the video. What do you got to say? Bro? Someone's phone went off this morning at 7.30. He says you shut it off. And I said, well, how do I know you set your phone for 7.30? Do they want to see... you guys want to see more of Heather in the videos or more of me? Me! You know you want to see me. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Legos and Cheryl, you know you'll find us funny.